It's blowing 30 knots out here in Wellington Harbour. We've got the last boat of the Global Ocean Race fleet on Lake 2 coming in. They must be extremely relieved, although they've got a beat now into 30 knots coming into Wellington Harbour. It must be a nightmare. Well, it's uh, certainly for Nick and Philippa, it's been a very long leg and uh, they've really kept their spirits very, very high over the last few days as the other boats have been arriving and they've had a really wonderful spinnaker run all the way down the Cook Straits but right now they're facing 35 knots of headwinds to come into the harbour and do the last few miles up the finish line so uh, Wellington has certainly been a boisterous finish for everybody here and no more so than for Nick and Philippa uh, they're going to get a very warm welcome from a great team here from the Royal Port Nick uh, Yacht Club uh, we're all out here at 3.30 in the morning to see them arrive and uh, we just can't wait to get them tied up and I'm sure they can't wait to tie up. And we have pies for them. We do have, uh, it's been a very popular feature of all of the arrivals that they've very much had a, a, a classic New Zealand welcome. They've been handed a, a cold Steinlager beer and a warm pasty pie. So uh, everyone's really enjoyed those and uh, it'll set them up for ready for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> We're on board for Shire Racing in Wellington Harbour. Nick Leggett, Philip Hart and Squire have just come in after over a month at sea and they got a right old beating on the nose just coming in. But how's it been? How's there? Are you really glad? To, have you had enough of it? Are you glad to be in here? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, we thought it was, we thought leg two was really, really tough. Um, Until the handle on the kettle broke. Yeah. Then it was even tougher. Yeah. <laughs> That was the deal breaker, the handle on the kettle. Yeah. Well, absolutely. <laughs> that, that happened this morning, and since then things have been downhill. Because we haven't been able to have cups of tea with yeah. fruit cake, and yeah. it's all been a disaster. Yeah. But up till then, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was fine. <laughs> now, and what broke the trip up for you? I mean, with I mean, because I know you're you're dead keen on on logging and observing wildlife. <laughs> and you certainly had a lot of it. I think the first. Um, interesting bit of wildlife, other than all the birds, was the uh, southern right dolphins. That was that was amazing. Mm. On Christmas Eve, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and then oh, the minke whales, literally, their heads right out of the surf, surfing next to the boat, and they stayed with us for 20 minutes. I thought we were going to hit them because they just they just surfed right in front of the bow and then right next to the boat. If you got the, the um, boat took out, you probably wouldn't be able to touch them. Yeah. And they're, just, they're just tame as anything, yeah. just loving it. They're about yeah. the same length as the boat, but I think they weigh something like 18 tons or something. <laughs> don't want to argue with them. That would really hurt the boat. <laughs> and I mean, have you had a. It, have, has, the hurt, has the boat uh, sustained any damage? Or have you got a, I know you might have I, had some time I, I don't even want to start with the list. Um, I don't know how we're going to pay for everything in Wellington. Yeah. But. Uh, and even this evening, just uh, this morning, beating in here, we've just destroyed the radar. I don't know what, to what extent, maybe it's just the top, but maybe we need a new radar. And <laughs> the, the rest of the list is just, that's like a minor thing on the list. So we're coming out the water on Monday to start repairs. Yeah, but you're still glad you did it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. there's no turning back now. I mean, you've got no. leg three coming up. Yeah. Fairly soon. Yeah. And we're going to continue. Hopefully, if we find uh, the funds to pay the bills before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't tie the boat to the dock. <laughs> but uh, as you say, there's no turning back. I mean, from here to go home, we've got to go down the wrong cable anyway. <laughs> 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 we can't afford an aeroplane ticket. <laughs> we're not going to beat back. <laughs> 